Hey guys, James Anderson here, JD Anderson. Just want to come to you guys really quickly on this lovely Labor Day. I hope everybody's having a great time with their family. If you're out with your family or if you're doing what you do, chilling out, that's fantastic. But I did want to let, I did want to bring to you guys' attention that the minimum wage did increase in Michigan by 75 cents. Now, this is not a video talking about, you know, I don't, you know, they shouldn't got the increase or they should have got the increase. I'm totally indifferent about the situation. And I'm just bringing to you guys attention one key thing about minimum wage. So if the minimum wage has went up by 75 cents, now let's put this in the context of some real world numbers. So 75 cent increase per hour. Let's say for instance, your, your basic fast food restaurant probably have around 50 employees that would be on minimum wage. And so 50 times 75, that give us a round of 40 buck uh, operating increase cost per hour. Now we take that, we times that say by 30 hours a week, um, you know, I'm, I'm averaging part-time, full-time, so we say 30 hours is split it right in the middle, times that $40 increase, you're looking around 1200 bucks. Now you take that $1,200 and you times that times 52 years, or we'll just say 50 to keep the math easy, that'd be $60,000 in increase in operating costs that the restaurant will have. Well, what is the company going to do? What is the restaurant going to do? Well, they can either two, do two things. They can cut expenses by getting rid of employees, or they can just pass along the cost to the consumer or the customer. That's the people going to get the services or the products or whatever they have available. Now, when you kind of think about that, that's kind of a classic case of inflation because the cost of living is going up and up and up and up. And I understand that minimum wage is, is nowhere near where you need to be to actually function in society. However, there's still a backstory to it because the company, if the company's operating at, say, a 20% profit margin, they're going to stay there. They're, they're going to do what they have to do to make sure that they increase profits year over year over year over year, quarter over quarter. So we have to be considerate and really know the full story. Yes, the dollar, the dollar amount that people are gonna be paid is going up. However, the products, goods, services was, able available, was ever available is gonna go up as well because the company's gonna maintain that same profit margin that they had before. So guys, when you think about it like that, to ask the company, I won't say to ask the company, for a company to have a $60,000 increase per year in operating costs, trust me, some changes are gonna be made. now. What they are, I don't know. What they can be, I don't know. However, we have to understand that something's going to happen because of this increase. So I just say stay tuned, keep your ears to the ground, um, keep your nose to the stone, make sure that you're understanding finances and understanding how it's going to impact you. And guys, I say we're going to be good. We're going to take it to the top. So if you got any comments, please feel free to drop them guys below. Uh, like, like, subscribe, do whatever you guys got to do. Share this video around. Let's open up the conversation. Let's have the dialogue because it's always great to have that. Again, my name is James Anderson, JD Anderson. Facebook page is JD Anderson, JDA Solutions. Hit me on Twitter. I am JD Anderson. You guys be bold, be great, keep doing what you do. Finish enjoying the Labor Day. It's nice outside. And I'll talk to you guys next time.